today we're going to be doing this very simple Gucci logo. I hear from the kids that it's very popular. So let's try it. First thing we're going to do, we're going to get the circle. And I'm going to make it, uh, let's see if I click here, 100 by 100. There's 100, click on that, and 100, there we are. Now again, if you know me, if you've seen any of these videos, I do not like how straight these are. So I go to the sides, and I go from 20 sides to 64, and that's as close as we're going to get to uh, having a perfect circle. So if I click on this one, I'm looking just for the height. So to do that, I'm going to click on the center one that tells me this is 2 millimeters high. So I'm going to click to on the center one here and click this to make 2. All right, so now it's 2 millimeters high. I'm going to bring in the cylinder here that is kind of like a giant eraser. And let's just make this, I believe, 80. We'll do it and click on the number and then 80 again. And I have to do the same thing because I don't like the sides, 64. Now let's remember our trick. Let's use the grid to try to center this. Otherwise, it doesn't guarantee it's going to be centered. So what I'm trying to do is get this to be... This is close, but to be more precise, I want to look at the edges here. So that is the farthest left the circle is going to go. So I want it to be right there, and it looks like it's right on the line. I'm going to look up. All right, that's not bad. Let me click on here. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Now, here's the more important one for me. I want it to be there, right there on that line. And that line, that means the center is technically the center. You see how it's a little bit of an, at an angle going this way? If I click on this, it'll straighten it much better. So now I'm going to click on the circle in the center. And I want it to be right there. If you see, uh, this thicker blue line goes right there. And is it on there already? It's hard to tell. I don't know. I'll click over here. It's there. Am I seeing things? No, it is already centered. Look at that. All right, so now it's centered. I'm going to group these two by selecting both of them at the same time by clicking and dragging. Again, let's keep it straight. I'm going to click the group button. There it is. Now I have my circle. Now I'm going to get one of these boxes. I'm going to click here and drag it. First of all, let's drag it to see how close I can get to the center. That looks like the center to me. Then again, let's verify. Let's make it straight and centered. It is the center. Look at that. I am so impressed with myself. All right, so let's go to the top and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to move this. I'm going to hit shift so it stays on that line right there. Move that right there. All right, so I'm going to hit. Um, I already, already had this selected. I'm going to hit shift and click this to select it as well. I could have just clicked and dragged to uh, select them both, but I did the other way so I can show you. I'm going to group them. And there you go. Now I need that little line that's right there. And if I remember correctly, this should be nine. Now, how did I get nine? Here's what I did. I dragged this over here and I thought, how close can I get it to the very edge right there, that little line right there, and still stick out a little bit. And that was the best I got. So what I want to do is uh, put this as the, the letter G there. I'm going to click on the height and I want it to be two as well. There you go. And it looks like looks like we're good. I'm going to click and select this group. Now, I want to make it yellow. Why? Because yellow looks a lot better for this particular brand because that's what I think it actually is in the now it's gold and black sometimes. Okay, whatever. I'm going to copy and paste, control C and control V. Now, one of these right here allows me to turn it so that it's facing the opposite direction. That would just turn it in a circle. That one would flip it upside down, and this one would be left to right. So I think this is the one I want. I'm gonna hit Shift, and there it is. Now, I'm gonna use my arrow keys, and drag it over, and that looks about right. Now I'm gonna, 
I'm going to uh, group them and we are done. But I wanted you to see what this would actually look like if I were to print it because I did print it. Not only that, I recorded the printing session. The angle is about here on the video. So you're gonna see it be pr being printed like this. And when we're done, don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more videos and on the comment please let me know if there's something you want me to design because i am running out of ideas and i need you to help so enjoy the video